In the last lecture, you learned how to set up goal tracking to measure success in Google Analytics. And in this lecture, you're going to learn how to filter internal traffic so you don't skew your data. Really, what I mean by internal traffic here is you don't want your visits to your own website to appear in your Google Analytics reports because you're going to be coming into your website to make changes, to update content, to answer comments. And you might be coming into your site maybe 10, 15, 20 times a day. Now, if you leave your visits in the Google Analytics reports, they can really skew the data and you could be getting really incorrect data about how many visitors are coming to your site, where they're coming from, etc. So it's best practice to really remove yourself from the Google Analytics reports. That way you're only seeing visits and data from customers and uh, people who are interested in your business. To set up a filter to, exter uh, to exclude yourself from the reports is very easy. You can come into admin here. You can come into filters. You can see that I've already got my one set up here. You just click on add filter and I'll just open this one, one up to show you how it's set up. You just type in the name exclude internal traffic. You can come down to predefined here, come to exclude. I'm excluding traffic from the IP address that is equal to, and this is my individual IP address. If you want to find out your IP address, you just uh, type into Google my IP and uh, it's going to show up right there. So you can see that all you have to do is copy this and really paste it into this section here and then click save. And that is how you exclude your individual IP from the Google Analytics reports. Now, if you're working with a company and you want to set it up to exclude all of those, I put in a link here. It's a link to uh, Google Analytics where they have more options. We really set this up for a single IP address, but there are some other options here if you're working as part of a company. There's also plenty of other resources online if you want to do it for like a, a number of people or if you're working from home, what you can also do is uh, exclude your IP address from there because your IP address will be different, say if you're logging in on the office, than it will be at home. With that said now, it's an important step to take. You want to take yourself out of your Google Analytics reports. And uh, really that wraps up on the last uh, Google Analytics uh, step on our checklist that we've completed already in this course. So all of these ones here, these six steps, we've completed them at various stages and in various sections of the course. From here on in, it's all brand new stuff. And I think you're really going to get a lot out of the rest of this checklist and uh, really benefit from it. So I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to set up a custom dashboard to reveal 12 of the most important reports and metrics. I think you're going to find this hugely beneficial. So I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.